Hello everyone, it's Ron from High Tech Legion and once again this is a part of our review of the ASUS Z87 series of main boards and what I have specifically here is a Z87 Pro main board with AI Suite 3 installed and of course if you're not familiar with this program essentially it's an all-in-one program that allows you to extend the functionality and monitor and also benchmark and test out and also uh, optimize your uh, ASUS main board so it can uh, also of course help your system <laughs> and uh, I'm going to demonstrate this time is the Wi-Fi Go functionality there's a very cool program I don't think I've ever demonstrated this one on the, the video or even on the previous versions so I know this was available in AI Suite 2 but uh, and this this is now of course AI Suite 3 we have the latest and this essentially allows you to have a completely wireless experience and a sort of a uh, if you have a Wi-Fi uh, enabled uh, main board such as this one this is the yeah, AI. This is the uh, as I mentioned, ASUS Z87 uh, Pro motherboard. is a very uh, is a quite a fresh motherboard here. Uh, it's just released a few hours ago, and uh, well, by the time you read this, uh, you, you, it's uh, already hitting stores. But uh, this is uh, it's Wi-Fi enabled. It has built-in Wi-Fi, and uh, I have also a tablet here with me. I have a ASUS Transformer Prime TF201. Have in here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, the functionality of Wi-Fi Go, and uh, I have, of course, uh, go to the Apple App Store. Where you can see my increase my I'll increase my brightness here on my tablet, so you can see. I'm just going to hold it, and also enable the IPS. There you go, and you can see there. Uh, once you went to the uh, Apple Store, uh, rather the uh, Android Store app, you can launch that program, Wi-Fi Go NFC Remote. And of course, hit enter. It will look for devices. Make sure that uh, your Wi-Fi is running, plugged in. So I'm just holding it up like that. You can. Uh, there you go. Shows you. Let the camera focus. There you can see that uh, it sees the Z Pro main board. And of course, I added a password there. And uh, for you to enable, uh, add a password. By default, there's no password. But click on this icon right here on your AI Suite 3. You have a password there and of course I just create a simple password just to demonstrate and uh, make sure up oh, I hit the camera there sorry and let uh, me type my password see uh, simple three letters you all set it to remember you okay and there we go we have the same essentially um, hit back there you can see the same layout here in the desktop and I can access those functionalities and let me just give you a quick overview of what those are you have Cloud Go, it allows you to remote control your sync all your files like across cloud services. Uh, you can also use the ASUS uh, Cloud app. Remote Desktop, of course, this is very useful. What I can do is I can use, I can access my main computer with just my tablet here. If I'm in a different part of the house, so I'm connected. The other day, Media Hub. I can essentially use my uh, my tablet or my device. You can also use an Apple phone. I should download the app here. Uh, there you go. Although I I I stumbled into a bug here where uh, you see that my my keyboard is right over the 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 app and I can't I can't uh, hit enter. I made a mistake of kind of hitting back uh, the back button while I'm I needed to type something. That's why it's stuck. So I probably have to reboot my phone in order to demonstrate just so I, I don't need to demonstrate with that anyway I'm, I can demonstrate with my tablet uh, but once again I'm just uh, showing you that there is uh, be aware of those little bugs there uh, I have the the LDA Media Hub which essentially I could use the tablet as a remote uh, control push it to the uh, the Wi-Fi as my, my main system as a server and then push that that media out to a D DLNA TV or a DLNA receiver. Very cool stuff. Essentially, if you've seen the movies where uh, you see the Iron Man 2 when he used, took his tablet and kind of uh, threw that data into the screen. It's kind of like that. It's really cool. You're essentially ordering a computer to, to display it on a different screen. And you can essentially walk around the house with an NFC, with, with this uh, Wi Fi Go or NFC remote app and just keep, keep on, uh, if you have multiple DLNA t TVs in the house, you can just keep on. Uh, Sending out uh, data into the uh, to the TVs that you want. For example, you, you're watching downstairs. You want to continue watching upstairs. You just order it, uh, order it with a, with, a, with your tablet control. Just carry a tablet with you or your phone with you, and keep on sending data into that uh, TV upstairs. And then once you shut down the TV downstairs, 
So <clears throat> I, I watched, continue watching upstairs when after it shut down the TV downstairs. So that's very cool stuff. And also file transfer. And uh, of course, pretty obvious you can transfer files between each. Uh, remote sen smart sensor remote. Yeah, this is essentially a, a setting option where it allows you to either use um, enable uh, the voice command or a gyroscope uh, sensor. For example, tablets you can just move it around to as a, as used as a gesture instead of a, sort of a mouse control when you're navigating with the remote desktop. Remote keyboard and mouse where you can use, of course, your tablet and will show up on the screen. And the last one is capture and send. Essentially, when you when you have a screenshot on your main PC here, you can send it to your tablet. If somebody's downstairs, for example, you're I don't know watching cat videos here on your or in your main system here, you're in Reddit, and then you uh, you send a screenshot to your device. Once uh, your girlfriend downstairs will uh, will be on her laptop and will just pop up, and it will, you will receive the data. So might as well just demonstrate some of that. I have my. Uh, tablet here of course I'm connected already to my main system and I have I'm gonna click uh, the remote keyboard and mouse for demonstration so enter it just shows you the this is essentially you see that my my screen there it's moving the mouse and also what you can do if this is uh, this is, of course, if you're if you want to use, for example, your TV's far away and you're actually sitting in the bed, you can use that. That's where uh, that functionality and also a settings functionality here, where you can do that. You can adjust the settings for sensitivity and the uh, scroll sensitivity. And my favorite is probably this one, the remote desktop. And I can access my computer in real time. This is this is useful even if I'm downstairs. I can do that. So. Uh, okay. You have two modes, extended mode or main screen mode. Extended essentially uh, as a, pretty much what I was described and main screen mode is um, I can directly control what is on my system. So there you go, see connecting to that and there we go. Voila, I can see that my desktop, mini desktop here, virtual desktop inside my tablet is also on my screen. So I can just, oh, sorry, let me just move my mouse there. You can see that it's also affecting the screen there. So I'm going to move my tablet away. I just want you to watch the screen. And let's see if we can launch into an explorer there. Maybe you can, you can run this. Maybe you want to freak out your roommate or something. And, uh, oh, my internet's down. Well, anyway. <laughs> you can use it also for other tools, of course. You have, uh, Plus, uh, with Windows 8, because Windows 8 is, is kind of annoying and made for gestures, it's useful in that regard. But, uh, let's see what other things I can do here. I can go back and uh, also up this capture and send functionality. Let's demonstrate. I'm still controlling it with my keyboard. Let me just move the camera again to the side a bit so you can center it. There you go. And uh, I can take a screenshot here with the uh, main system. Essentially, the setting, the here in the settings menu, you can uh, you can assign it to a hotkey, either Control or Alt, and then a number. So I have you assign as Control One. Allow you can take a screenshot of the full screen or the active window. So, for example, I want a uh, go back here. And for example, I want to take a screenshot of this menu here. I want to show you. Uh, here we go. Hit Control One on my keyboard. And for you need to receive uh, enable to enable. Okay, first I forgot to enable it here. I'm still in the remote desktop part, so I'm going to hit uh, back here on my tablet. Make sure I exit that program. And then go into there. You go. I have to enable it first. Captain said because you have to be authorized and enable. Hit enable there. Make sure that it is enabled and enter. Uh, when you enter it, you see the screenshots that sent to you. But uh, I can just exit that. It will still be there. And then uh, okay. Now I can take screenshots. For example, I want to let's run a different program here. Uh, Okay, for example, I have my benchmarks here. I have my uh, Z Pro, for example. I just want to brag about my uh, overclock here. I want to send it to somebody, and I just stand Control One, and it sends. 
Okay, let me just swap there. There you go. You can see that the window popped up here that it send, sent it to my Transformer Prime. And uh, it shows you the directory it sent to and as, as you transfer complete. If it's a big file, obviously, it will, there's, a, there's a bar there that tells you the, the transfer rate and the, rather the, uh, the, how, the percentage of the transfer if it's completed. And once that's done, first minimize that. And I just, if I want to browse it here, there's a shortcut in the, my tablet. And it shows up there as part of the list of the things that I have, uh, that I received. So I can just that, so which software I need to open it with. And it's a big, uh, it's a big file. So there you go. Select uh, gallery, just one, always, just once. And there you go. And I have, I can obviously zoom in. And I have a, I have a retail chip here, so it doesn't overclock as high as the ES chips. I got a 4.5 gigahertz, and that's pretty much it. And uh, for the other functionality here, uh, if we got, of course, Caption Send, Remote Keyboard and Mouse, we demonstrated that, uh, and uh, also File Transfer. Similar idea, can the same thing. You just enable it as well, and you can send uh, files uh, to XF files sent from your PC. I just let me just uh, try to send that uh, caption send same thing settings you assign it a hotkey you know what control two either you want to capture a screenshot with the with a uh, with a your camera your pc's camera active window same idea capture i was like where's that uh File transfer. There you go. I did the wrong one here. <laughs> here you go. File transfer. Setting select destination files from transferring your smart device to your PC. S settings. Shows you the. Uh, you can adjust the directory where it goes to. Smart uh, desktop to smart device. You just essentially just. Uh, this is the path for the Android SD card. Then Wi-Fi go into the. And for iOS, it shows you that it is in the camera roll uh, folder. So let's try that. If I can send something here, capture and send. I'm going to send back this file here, then send it back to the main system. Send. Should it popped up? There you go. Transfer completed. And let me browse the folder that I received files in here. Oh, no, where is that? File transfer, my documents. Oh, let's go, my documents. Uh, Wi Fi Go, file transfer, and there's the file lovely and it's as easy as that it's very very fun program to play with and uh, also extremely useful once you get the hang of a uh, kind of just walking around with your tablet and controlling things and that's pretty much it for this overview of the asus wi-fi go and the remote desktop remote go there's a couple of names here but essentially it is part of the wi-fi go functionality and the remote go is there as well you can uh, remotely control your desktop, remotely send files, and remotely uh, direct it to share files and stream files. And uh, once again, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. You can click on the link below to go to hightechlegion.com to see the rest of our reviews, especially if you're interested in uh, checking out how well the Z87 Pro mainboard that I'm reviewing here did in our benchmarks and uh, what my thoughts were and how well it uh, performed.